Yeah. Well, so, Joan, who are we? We are Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and QHQ, the number two.com. And we do this every Tuesday. Thank you for joining us, 6 to 7 Central. And we are on block eight. Can you believe wow. we made eight of these? It's just flying along. It is thing. flying along. So block eight is fly away home. So as you can guess, it's flying geese. We got into a big discussion about geese, but I'm not going to. Hey, Cindy, how are you tonight? Repeat my embarrassing geese stories. <laughs> I've got it all cut out. And so I'm just going to start with these great big patches and we're going to lay it out as we go each section. So um, I have trying not to, and I have the wrong foot on trying not to sew things upside down. So I laid out all my pieces and I have them right side up. So fingers and toes crossed. Got it. And here we go, finally. If you've watched for a while, you know, anything can and does happen. We've gotten phone calls. Some of the spam calls I think I should answer and we should all entertain him or them. kind of like this because it's like almost a little bit of a surprise for you when you see all the the block put together or going together and you guys keep me honest too on track so when I'm uh, not gonna put it together you're like no wait wait that happens to me at home too I'm I have my tablet on and I'm watching whatever show and then all of a sudden it's all just kind of wonky. So these are the geese and I have both the dark pink and the light pink. Um, this actually shows four different colors. It's not. They're just doing it for contrast. These are, maybe there are, nope it's a little bit different. But we have light pink, dark pink, and a medium pink for this. So these are all the flying geese, and they go together like this. I'm going to sew all of these, and I am just lining up this point perfectly with the corner of this flying, this triangle. And if you can, you can see I have overlap here. This is my quarter inch seam, and we're going to trim that off later. So again, I'm going to put my needle down, put my foot first, Ready. needle down, and then I'm just going to slide this right up against that needle so that my little corner there doesn't get caught in my bobbin area. Hey Karen, how are you tonight? And we're just going to chain piece all of these and then go back, and I should put, well, maybe not. I was going to say I should put you to work. Pressing these. The doohickey? With the doohickey, which I did get out. And they all go the same direction. Did everybody have a nice weekend? I was working in my sewing hey Donna, room how are you tonight? For a couple of hours. Karen's hoping for a snow day. She went back to teaching. Oh. <laughs> Other people said yes. They did have a good weekend. Oh, cool. We did too. And then we drove down to Springfield yesterday. We did. Delivering a long arm. Yes. 
a retired so much, teacher. To a retired special ed teacher. And those are so much fun. Everybody is always so excited to get their long arm. And I get excited for them. The assembly process takes a little while, but... Room said she got caught up on last Tuesday's show. Okay. That was a fun block, the Dresden. That was a good show. Yep, I don't know if Carrie's on, but everybody wish her well. She's got some pneumonia. Pneumonia going on. I think she did say she was on here. Okay. Nasty stuff. No kidding. That was... You don't mess around with pneumonia. Mm. You gotta take care of yourself. You get past that one. Yeah, you always gotta take care of yourself. Last time I was in the hospital, I ended up. It was because of pneumonia. Not fun. Nope. Oh, Ruth was in today. Dropped off a quill. Doctor for you was kind of funny. Not many doctors have a sense. I don't know if he was actually being funny or if he was, if I just thought it was like, hmm. But he just came in and leaned up against the wall like this and he's like, you don't look so good. It's like, really? <laughs> like people that are happy and healthy come in here? <laughs> Carrie said she would rather be at work. <laughs> I bet. I've had it. It's nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and somebody did send me pictures of their blocks. They didn't say who it was from. So I'd like to give you a shout out. Um, if somebody on here sent me pictures, let me know. Just from a phone number. Okay. This is going pretty fast. All right. Well, who sent in pictures? Text it on here. Let us know. Did they text or did they just, just came from a phone number? I think it was, they sent it to my email, but okay. it was from the phone number. Okay. Okay. Ah, it was Peggy. Peggy. Nice. Thank you, Peggy. Did we post them? Not yet. Not yet. I wanted to see who they belong to first. Mm -hmm. I did reply back, but I don't know if that works that way. Mm, I don't know. Only from a phone. Yeah. Hey, Louise. How yeah, are that, you? That was Peggy's. See, I already messed up. Looking at my pattern, I thought you had to piece all of these, and it's like, nope. But these will be easy to take apart. Yeah. Like we're down to maybe one of those puppies. Whew. That went quick. Yep. Not as quick as the wine panels went. I don't know <laughs> if you were here for those, but apparently as quilters, we like our wine. Looks like we do have one of those Just left. Just one. And this is the pattern for it. Yeah. Is that right? That's the pattern. So I'll have to get in touch with QT Fabrics and see if they have any more of it. It's unlikely. Stuff like that is just so popular. That's pretty cool. Yep. So I'm just going to trim my little dog ears off so these will fit underneath my presser foot because I'm using the presser foot with a guide. Let's see, Beth said she has her PhDs as well. <laughs> Rebecca said that is the printed quilt top to show off the pattern. Yep. Thank you, Rebecca. So we'll probably quilt that and do it as a giveaway one of these days. But we have a lot of quilts right now, so we're not going to jump in line.
Yeah, we still do have the 15% off quilting services if you get your quilt in here by the 31st of January. Yep. So. And we did that because we had to have a price increase. Go figure. Yeah. Everything is more expensive. Not sure why the lights cost more, but apparently they do. Yeah. And they're getting ready to do a big one. Apparently they've added some gold to the water, and the water is more expensive, so I'm not really sure. Or it makes us smarter, possibly. Maybe the lighting yeah. gives you an Insta-Tan or something. I don't know. Some feature that we didn't have before. I'm not really sure. Effects. But, uh, there's apparently an upgrade that we weren't aware of. Well, it hasn't made me any smarter, so not sure where it's going. Okay, same thing. I'm going to line up that <laughs> points. I'm going to put my presser foot down, put my needle down. Love this machine because the presser foot just hops up a little bit. It is made for chain piecing. Somebody did ask what machine that is. This is Juki's DX4000. My outfit was on a lot, so I missed it. Because um, it's bouncing a little bit. Um... It is a nice machine, has a lot of stitches. I can't tell you how many, I can't count that fast or that high. Um, lots of stitches. One of the things I like about Juki machines is they give you all the feet you need. This one actually does convert to a straight stitch machine, um, sort of. You still have the motion in the needle bar because it is a true zigzag machine, but those really narrow feed dogs can be swapped out for the wider um, zigzag feed dogs. So most machine companies, they just give you the plate. So you have a straight stitch plate. Um, this machine, you actually swap out the feed dogs too. And that's very cool. So we'll probably see that technology come around later in other machines. Um, one of the cool things that Juki does is they do not patent their technology. They think that it is Joe, Joe Cool, which is really his name, was here um, talking about that. And I thought that was the coolest thing that I have learned about Juki is that they don't patent the technology because they think that it is good for the sewing industry. Hey, Karen, how are you? It does have the upper feed dog right here so that was a technology that was patented by Foff. Foff. and it might have been somebody before that who knows yeah it might have been somebody before that <clears throat> and when that patent expired then everybody integrated it into their sewing machines because it's it's cool technology so beverly said i told my friend today that i was going to get a bottle of wine and sew and maybe the sewing project would turn out right <laughs> we can always hope <laughs> i used to have a drink when i did uh free motion quilting it just made me relax yeah, enough loosen your shoulders yep Made me relax enough that, you know, my angles were curvy instead of, you know, straight. But not two, only one. Only one beverage. Because you don't want to be drinking and driving your long arm because you so through your hand on one of those, that's no fun. I have not done that. <laughs> Judy said wine is good. <laughs> Wine is good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do recommend that people do that. If they're quilting and they're really got to... The other thing you don't want to do is when you're long arming, you don't want to have a death grip on those handles. Well, I'll make the stitches a little tight. It, it does, and it hurts your hands and elbows after a while, and your shoulders tense up, and... Then you get some, you know, I don't know what they call it when it's in your elbows or tunnel, you know, carpal tunnel, some kind of connected Tennis elbow tissue, you know, defect. 
Beverly said she didn't do it, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. The wine? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I think I would usually just have a beer because wine does give me a little bit of a headache. Hey, Danita, how are you? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Okay, let's piece these together. Let's pull my little strings out so they don't make does anybody else do that when it's on your sewing machine it's thread but when it's stuck in your fabric it's string <laughs> so we need to make a piece that looks like that i think we have a show on valentine's day really we do mm -hmm. i was just thinking the colors would be of the oh. We do. It's a yes. That's a Tuesday. Mine makes me sleepy. Yep. Stick to Diet Coke. Stick to Diet Coke. I doubt we will have a show on the seventh. So. Um. February. February. We are in Houston yep. for a biking uh, event. We have to get some training, so it's just a day trip, but we'll be coming back on that evening, so we'll be flying. So everybody will have a chance to get caught up. Yep. That's great. I do like these because I never get behind. Okay, let's just press these Ooh, open. Beth's going on a cruise. Where are you going, Beth? These are kind of small flying geese, but pretty. So they're just goslings? They're just goslings? Who said that? <laughs> That's clever. Me. Oh, you? <laughs> We have flying goslings. Aruba. Oh. Very beautiful. Bon Air, Caraco, and the Dominican Republic. We Very went, nice. We went to Aruba. The ocean there is amazing. Really so beautiful. you can go in the ocean and you just float. You don't have to really, uh, the water is salty enough that you're just really buoyant. So I have my beverage in a plastic container because you can't have glass on the beach, but out in I think the it ocean. It floated right next to you. It did. It's windy there, but. That was nice though. It keeps you cool. Yeah, I'd go back to Aruba. Let's see. Caught up is an unusual phrase. It actually is an unusual phrase. Caught up. Hmm. Makes me think of those traps that you see on TV where you step in it and then it flips you upside down and flings you up in a, you oh, know. Oh, like what was that? snare trap. What was that one? It was uh, had the rock and I can't remember the other guy's name, but they had the monkeys. They're both dangling upside down. Oh, uh, it's up there. I don't remember the name of that one. Yeah. Flying flamingos, they're pink. Flying flamingos, they're pink. There's some baby they're flamingos. They're flying, flying geese, they're flying flamingos. They have flamingos in Aruba. They do. They are funny. They're pretty funny to watch. They dance. They do. Let's just trim these up. Some disco on the beach there. Yeah. Flamingo disco. One yeah. legged. 
Maybe they're playing the hop on one foot game. And emeralds. They have emeralds in Aruba. Oh, thank you, Carrie. She said it was Rampage. Rampage. With the rock and these. Maybe the rock was in it. I do believe it was a game back in the day. It was so fun. Punching holes through the windows. Punching holes through the windows? Yeah, and then they pulled the people out. And like a video I think game? they ate them, yeah. So you could be Godzilla or King Kong or something. I uh, love the color of buildings in Aruba. Yeah, that's true. Beautiful emeralds. Yeah. They saw a lot of emeralds. I didn't get one, but they were beautiful. They are pretty. All of the ones I liked were a little more than my checkbook could bear. Oh, that's your birthstone. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to look. Look, there's quite a selection. Mm -hmm. They live on tourism. They do. This is beautiful. It has some cool jewelry stores, though. They do. Okay, I'm just going to piece this centerpiece together, nesting my seams. And then we're going to start piecing these flying gosling units. It's just so interesting. Nesting and we got, got all kinds of terminology in the sewing industry. That we got Relates geese, to birds. Goslings, we're nesting. Got some flamingos thrown in there. We do. Can we just top it off with some magpies or something? <laughs> I think there is a magpie block <laughs> since you mention it. So these are going to rotate over chirped. So I'm just going to lay these out really quick and then we're going to piece them. So these go alternate. So your dark um, pieces are here. You're going to put your light pieces here and then your dark pieces in its sets of three. And sets of three and it looks a little bit weird to me because this is making a square but I'm looking at the pattern and the pattern has the same thing so okay double checking double checking I've already made my mistake for the day broken needle broken needle well I'm okay sorry. two and then didn't pay attention to the pattern when I was piecing and did some unsewing. Did some Jones unsewing. Okay, I'm gonna press these. So I like these flying geese. I like to press them. Whatever side this unpieced border is is where unpieced border unpieced patch is is the direction that I like to press my seams. I think they lay flatter that way. Who's counting? <laughs> well, apparently Robert is. Oops. That's okay. Everybody makes mistakes, including me. We did determine that our next project is definitely going to be an AccuQuilt project, though. I think everybody agreed on here with that. Have a good night, Ruth. Thunder's rumbling outside. Is that thunder? Getting some rain down there. Mississippi. Was that thunder? I thought it was just a truck going by. I think it's a viewer in Mississippi. Oh, okay. 
What do they call that? Like thunder snow or something? Ooh. Yeah. My grandfather would tell me that it was a potato wagon that fell over in heaven. <laughs> of course, I believed him. <laughs> he had all kinds of little. Grandma told me like it was somebody up there bowling. Somebody was bowling? Yeah. In heaven? Yeah. Nope. They were having the, a tournament or something. It was the potato wagon. Potato wagon. She may have just wanted to go bowling. I don't know. Maybe. She was a good bowler. What did your grandparents tell you? That was just kind of ridiculous, but... That's what I was told to you. <laughs> <laughs> bowling or... Yeah, bowling. Yeah. Oh, uh, because, you know, the thunder kind of makes it way to cross and makes this noise and sound like a bowling ball going on. And it's like, I'm okay. I was good with it. Yeah, somebody said the angels were bowling, yeah. Hey, Carla, how are you tonight? It's probably regional. Angels bowling, yep. So, uh, yep. You can't be the only one with a potato wagon. I heard that lightning was God taking pictures. God was taking <laughs> That's pictures. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that God was looking for someone. <laughs> we'll flip the light switch on? Mm, no, zapping him. Oh, zapping him, okay. <laughs> Judy was, just said it was you know, moving furniture around. <laughs> yeah, rearrange. <laughs> I get that. John said hers was old man thunder was rolling his potatoes down the cellar steps. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else had potatoes. Pretty close to, <laughs> to the wagon. Yeah, the next thunderstorm we're all going to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's just fun. I think they, they tell us stuff like that because we believe it and it's really for their entertainment of <laughs> got one on you. But <laughs> I can't remember they said it's if, a Joan the, thing. <laughs> if the thunder made me scared or not when I was little. Probably. It makes most kids scared, doesn't it? I don't know. It's just dogs seem to... <laughs> Seem to run. Your dog Zeus would about knock me over. Of course, he was a Bernese mountain dog, so it didn't take much. He was bigger than I am. Cheryl had the potato wagon, too, so. Okay. They were out there. Well, my grandfather grew up in Texas. So, so I'm sure they had some potato wagons running around. I'm sure it's a regional thing. You know, where you grew up is what you, uh, what fib you ended up hearing as a child. Who knows? I don't know if it's a fib. It's a, what do you call that? <laughs> a myth? Urban legend? Urban um, legend? Kathy said she was terrified of thunder when she was a kid, and cat hides under the recliner. Those dogs, they just... Man. Your cat doesn't seem to care. No, she She's doesn't like, care much about anything. It pets the cat or it gets the claws. That, that's what it... Uh, okay, so this scared. goes together is a nine patch. So, um, just like this, so we're going to piece it together in rows. I agree with you, Beth. It does keep you from being scared. You just think somebody's up there bowling. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit 
bit more here on one of my seams here. And I don't. on the bone area. Oh, yeah, it's had pretty decent. Good burger. Had a decent burger there. Okay, so now I have to know how many bowlers do we have out there? Somebody put up an emoji, emoji for bowling. I've been for a while. I, I don't know if I could after I broke my elbow, it would hurt. Yeah, definitely. Farmer bowler, yeah. Or would that just be a distraction from golfing for you? I don't know. So I'm pressing my seams towards the outside here because I know that I can press these inside and they'll work really well. Well, that's a good place to bowl. Carl was bowling in a league. Yeah, bowled league years ago. Some practice. Okay. It's like sewing without thread. The machine came unthreaded. Oh yeah, you wouldn't want to be bowling if you got a shoulder replacement for sure. Oh, lots of bowlers on here. I taught somebody <clears throat> um a thing that they had never known and didn't know before, and that is when you thread your upper part of your sewing machine, you always have the presser foot up. She didn't know that. And so many of us are, let me just make sure I've got, yep. So many of us are self-taught that we don't know those things. But you should always thread your machine with the presser foot up. It releases the tension discs so that they pass easily through the thread passes easily through. Okay, I need a little assist here. There we go. Yeah, I think uh, you do have to have a beverage or two while you're bowling, so that uh, loosens it up, and then you look up and you go, hey, we won. <laughs> That's what Carl said. This one, and we are coming to the end. How are we doing on time? We got just enough. Do you want to come do the oh thread color of the month? Red color of the month. Yeah, time just goes along. We're just chit chatting. So we are looking at color number sixty-seven thirty-three. That's twilight. 15% off if you're in, or 20% off if you're in the club. 20% off if you're in the club. If you're not in the club and just on the show, it's 15% off. So, okay. It's a really cool color. I need a piece from the other side. Fewer seams to deal with. There you go, yep. Just want to re-thread. That's, that's why we always say at the end of the show, just check that thread path and, and change the needle because sometimes, I mean, it just, you can do it 10 times in a row and, you know, it's like, step away, get a cup of coffee or water or something, and come back and do it again. It's like, oh, man, it hit you. Mm -hmm. I missed that one. see it a lot too people will bring projects in and i'll look at it and i'm like well it kind of looks like your machine's not threaded right and it's pretty universal that we get the same answer of like well i know i threaded it right yeah because you think you do right yep. i mean you think you had it all you in know how to you thread your machine yeah of course you do i know how to pour a cup of coffee come on 
but then you go and unthread the whole thing, just pull the thread out, and then, like magic, it works. Sometimes it just, uh, and maybe sometimes it's just taking it out, putting it back in. Yep. That's the trick. Take it all the way out. When you pull your thread out, make sure you press your foot's up. That, so those tension discs let go of the thread. that I missed when I was trimming. And I am at the bottom of a spool and sometimes that air fill thread likes to stick on the spool and at the end. At the end. I think they wind it when it's still a little bit damp or wet and it gets kind of packed on there. The lint. Yeah. Last seam. To a rocky start, but we finished with perfection. This is a cool block, isn't it? It is a pretty block. All finished. Piece together, no mistakes, perfect first time through. <laughs> okay. You guys have a great week. And uh, if you're here in the area, watch out for the snow, I guess. Yeah. Well, for everybody getting snow. Or a thunderstorm. Be safe and, you know, if you don't have to leave, and don't. Stay home. Watch out for the bowling balls. <laughs>